Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gaming here. I'm just making a quick video to show off an Android emulator. If you're interested in playing some mobile games and on your PC, then it is possible. You can use one called KO Player or Co Play. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, um, but it's a decent one I've found. Now, um, not everyone's going to be interested in playing Android games on PC, but if you ever were interested, um, I'm using the KO Player 1.4.1055. Now what this essentially is, is a, an Android emulator which allows you to play um, all Android games through the Google Play Store. Now you can use a legitimate store as well, just log in to your normal, with your normal ID and it should be fine. Any app downloaded through, through the Google Play Store should work properly with all the online functions as well. But you can download um, some um, cracked applications as well from the website. I'll put a link in the description to everything. So, um, you know, this has all the basic functions of the Android OS. You can rotate the orientation from vertical to horizontal. Uh, depending on the game you're playing, this orientation may be forced upon you. Um, you can also go into the settings as well. Um, as you can see here, um, I'm recommended to use 720p, so basically 12 and 1280 by 720 and um, you can um, enforce a custom resolution, but just bear in mind not all games will scale properly if you do um, use your own custom resolution. Moving on to the advanced tab, you can allocate the amount of memory you want to use. So what this essentially really is, is just a virtual machine, so you can kind of toggle the resources you want available. Um, you can go to a max of 4 gigabytes of, of RAM. Now if you only have 8 gigabytes of RAM, I'll probably um, recommend you be a bit more conservative, maybe 2 gigabytes at the max because you do need to account for your background applications that load at, at startup. You can also um, customize this um, and also increase the amount of cores that are going to be utilized as well. And finally you can um, change the rendering mode between DirectX and OpenGL. DirectX is recommended for faster um, gameplay but um, if you do run into compatibility issues then OpenGL might be the way to go. You just need to chop and change depending on the game. So that's pretty much it for the settings. I'm just going to jump into a game now um, just if you're wondering I'm using a discrete GPU and that probably is recommended and so I'm using the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti um, it's the only GPU I have so and no you don't require it nowhere near the amount of power this card performs um, and offers GPU and CPU combination I'm also using um, an Intel i7 5960X which is overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz and I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 so those are my specs out of the way I'm just going to jump into a, a mobile game I've been playing lately which is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links by Konami now this is a card game if anyone's familiar with Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh! itself then you'll need no introduction so I'm just going to put up my OSD now just to show the in-game performance and as you can see this game is running at 60 frames per second um, this doesn't run at 60 frames by default. You do need to kind of go into uh, the put one of the in-game settings and set the performance tab, um, and it will increase the frames. Now, the great thing about this emulator is it does allow you to play online. So I can go and face anyone around the world that's playing at the moment. It's quite a popular game. It's got over 10 million people playing, so you shouldn't struggle for online matches. Um, so I'm not going to waste any more time, I'm just going to jump into a match now and I'll let you guys um, check out the performance of the game itself, so enjoy. So I get to go first. Let the game begin. Fine. You are no match for Yugi. I may in my duel. My turn. So if you're not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, this is just a virtual card game with monsters and spell cards and trap cards. Um, I'll try and explain as, as I go. So I was able to go first. You draw with four cards in your hand. Um, you can only set one monster card in your first go and you can't attack um, the opponent in your first go so what I'm going to do is play my leg 
Lekunga card. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. It's quite a difficult name. Um, I'm placing this in out of two positions. One's attack and one's defense. Attack mode means I can obviously attack my opponent or monster that's um, in my path. Defense mode means the card um, flips um, horizontal and basically is in defensive mode. If it does get destroyed in this mode, I won't suffer any damage to my life points which is down here. As you can see I have 4000 and so does my opponent. So the last thing I can do is activate one of my spell cards. Now this one's called Wonder Balloons. Great card. What this essentially allows is for me to sacrifice one of my cards and it will reduce the enemy's um, attack by 300 for every card I sacrifice. So it puts a counter. So I'm going to activate this effect. And I'm going to sacrifice um, this card. And that's it. So whatever card the enemy draws now will um, suffer 300 um, minus to its um, attack points, which can tip the balance of, of the game. And that's for every card she has. Uh, it's a great card, providing it's still active on the field. So I'm going to end my turn now. So for every turn you draw a new card, I've drawn the Dark Magician Girl. I can't use this card because it needs a tribute summon. I would have to get rid of this card to draw. Um, so what I'm going to do is make a... I'm actually going to draw this card actually. Um, may as well because I'm not in any danger. What this is called is a tribute summon you make a sacrifice essentially to bring out a more powerful card depending on the level of the card you may need to make two um, any card from level one to six you only need to make one sacrifice any card from seven and above you need to make two sacrifices or um, sorry you might even need to make three depending on higher level what level it is so just okay, um, bear that in mind I'm just trying to describe what's going on here So throughout all this, as you can see, I'm getting a rock steady 60 frames per second. Funnily enough, it is actually using my graphics card at its full frequency, but only 7% of it. So it's not requiring all of the power, but it is using 1 gigabyte of VRAM as well. So it may cause some um, discrete laptop GPUs, some issues, depending on how old your system is. So what I'm going to do is attack this face down card now, and hopefully I'll destroy it. Okay, that didn't stand a chance. That was light work. And see what she can do. I set a I end my turn. Here I go. My so she hasn't really got anything that can take this down, so she's just trying to bide her time. So I've drawn my blue eyes white dragon. Thing is, I can't use this card without making two sacrifices, so this card is useless to me at the moment. What I am going to do is just continue in attacking. Um, face down monsters until she's got nothing to defend herself with. So a harpy lady didn't stand a chance either. Let's continue. Now for some strange reason she's drawn that in attack mode which means if I do kill that, if I kill this monster I've got 1202, well 2200 attack points, she's got 1000 so essentially I'll kill that and do 1200 damage to her life points and um, leaving her with 2800 so the aim of the game is to reduce your opponent's life points to zero so I'm going to go ahead and attack her now considering I don't have any level 4 monsters to draw. I forgot I didn't get to end my turn, so I'll let her go. Now 
Now this spell card is called um, Banner of Courage. This basically um, allows my monsters to have an additional 200 attack points while they're in attack mode. Um, if the opponent's attacking me, this um, boost is not going to be available. It's literally only when I'm attacking, so it's, it can tip the balance of the game depending on what situation you're in. Now, um, looking at this card, this may serve me a little better in this situation because it has a special effect. So I'm going to sacrifice Dark Magician Girl at the moment. And the reason I'm doing this is because the special effect that this card has, which will allow me to draw a stronger card. You'll see so um, why I did that in a few moments. I'm going to go ahead and attack this um, Harpy Lady. Now for every at the end of every turn as you can see I get to do a special summon. Now this um, happens at the end of every turn and I've basically special summoned a, a token. It's not really a monster but I can use it to as a sacrifice to um, draw a more powerful monster. Now what I'm going to do is put down Blast Magician um, so we can take out um, the two guards in defensive mode. Now my blast magician is gonna is gonna benefit from my um, my field spell card, which is Yami, increases all spell casters by 200 attack, and also Banner of Courage. So that's an additional 400. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack both of these monsters now. Should be able to clear the field. She was pretty smart there trying to stop me from drawing one of my more powerful cards but it's basically too late now. What I'm going to do is summon my blue eyes white dragon now and I'm going to sacrifice two of my monsters to do this. One will be um, the flame token and the other will be um, the blast magician because it's the weaker card. Now I'm basically gonna destroy her. So what I'm gonna do is attack a harpy lady. I think the harpy lady may have an effect which stops you from attacking in the same go. So I don't think I can attack in this phase, unfortunately. So she's surviving for now, but it's time to end this game because I've got basically too many monsters now for her to be able to do anything. I'm going to do one more tribute summon. So I've got three powerful monsters on the field now. Start General Freed. And it basically bypasses any monster effects, so I should be able to attack and basically finally get to her life points. Now I'll use my blue eyes white dragon to attack her life points directly. No white it's not letting me do it. Okay, so she's pretty much screwed now. She's only got 800 life points left. And I'm just going to finish her off because there's nothing really she can do to win this.
Okay, time to wrap this up. That's just my general's um, special effect. It allows me to draw one of my cards and then shuffle my deck. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack now. Okay, and I let my blue eyes finish things off. So it's a good fight. She did put up a, um, you know, a valiant defense, but really, she had nothing that could kill me. So that was a look at the KO player. As you can see, a rock solid 60 frames per second. Nice smooth experience, and I'd recommend this to anyone that's interested in playing Android games. So guys, that's pretty much it for me. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, just drop them down in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.